What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I have a device with iOS 15 on it. As you can see, the new sleep, work, and personal do not disturb options appear. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what iOS 2 looks like running on an iPhone XR on iOS 15, and I'm going to show you how to get it. So, pretty cool video coming your way. So this is iOS 2 on iOS 15. I never thought that sentence would exist in the year 2021, but I just said it. So I'm going to be showing you guys what happens when you open up each and every one of these apps and why this is the coolest thing ever on the iPhone. So not only can you access your photos, but you can take photos using the iOS 2 uh, viewfinder. So you can take a photo right here and you can even start recording by doing that slider. So pretty cool. You can see it's even laggy just like iOS 2, but it looks really nice. The reason I like this emulator on iOS 15 is because of the fact that it has such a beautiful screen on the latest technology running an old uh, operating system. I've never seen something similar like iOS 6 look this detailed before because it's on a newer device. You know, the devices that had iOS 6 on them didn't have as good... Uh, technology. So, pretty cool stuff right there. So, what happens when you open up messages? Well, you can see that it is coming soon. There's still some bugs that they need to fix. So, go ahead and click OK. And then, uh, when you go to your home screen, you can open up the calendar. They, um, they're still adding stuff. But what I really want to show you guys is a few of the other apps. So, these are cool. So, you can start making notes if for whatever reason the iOS 15 notes app isn't cutting it for you anymore. Maybe try an older version of iOS. Technically, you can add your contacts on here. I won't for video purposes, but you can see that you can view your contacts. But check this out. The music app works. So what's really cool is it is synced to my library so I can find all my music. But on top of that, I can even play it and it starts playing. Now, some of the album art isn't here, but album art does show up on most of the songs. Now the main question everyone's wondering, and I know this for a fact, is does cover flow work? Unfortunately, it does not. But still pretty cool, but you could see the album art comes back. Um, overall, pretty cool emulator for the iPhone. Um, I think it's pretty sick. Also you can use Safari, and that loads up so nicely on this phone. On top of that, you can open up settings, and uh, let's just mess around a bit. Let's change the wallpaper. Let's do this. Um, I used to use this one all the time on my iPod Touch, so let's change the wallpaper. Look at that. That looks awesome. This is the one I always used on my iPod Touch, and pretty cool. So, unfortunately, the folder does not work. Now, let's take a look at the App Store, right? So, the App Store looks exactly like it used to. But what's interesting is not everything works. It takes you to the app store um, when you go to download stuff. But um, it has an Apple ID signed in just to look like that, like it's real. But unfortunately, when you go to download something, it just takes you to the actual app store. But overall, pretty cool. You can go to mail and you could probably hook up your email account. Pretty sick. Let's look at some stonks. Um, looks like nothing is loading. But if you look at your stock, oh, look at this, it works. Maybe. Okay, well, if you're the type of person viewing your financial decisions on an emulator for an older version of iOS, you kind of deserve to get burned a little bit on the investment side of things. Not financial advice, but I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, pretty cool emulator. And what's really cool is they got this home button right here. So in order to leave the emulator, you just swipe up and you're back on iOS 15. Now this works on iOS 14, this works on iOS, uh, I think that's as low as it goes. So let me show you how to get it. You're first gonna want this application on your iPhone. Link will be down below in the description. Then you're gonna wanna click the second link in the description. Now the third link in the description is the developer who made this app. Now what's interesting is because this is a test flight beta, 
only a limited number of people can actually get it. I think it's like limited up to either 100 or 500 or something or 1,000. I don't know what the limit is, but enough people can get it. But at some point, it will be cut off just because that's how Apple works. Um, so the developer's coming out with new links. So you can follow their Twitter, not only to support the developer, but to see updated links in case for whatever reason, this beta does not work or the link I show in the description is outdated, you can go ahead and use that. So once you get this app, you're going to want to visit the website, the second link, and it'll just be an install button. You click and you can get this app. The third link, check out the developer. He's pretty cool. So that is about it for today's video. Overall, pretty awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.